Welcome to the second episode of Where to Find, How to Save, and How to Kill. In this episode, we'll be discussing Henrik, one of the many characters in the game of Fear Hunger Termina. But before we start, I'd like to remind you that if you enjoyed this series, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support me further, we have a donation link in the description, and also YouTube has their own way of thanking content creators with the thanks button. Without further ado, let's get started. Henrik is located during day one morning in a decisive choice between Avela and himself. Pretty much the choice is between these two and who you will be saving. If you save Avela, Henrik is gone and vice versa of course. During this episode, we'll be discussing how to save Henrik. So I'm sorry Avela, your episode will have to wait. If you'd like to know more about the decision, make sure to check out this video in which I tell you what happens once you save Henrik or Avela. Moving on with the video. Henrik is found in day one morning right at the mayor's house. Once you find him, you'll be able to start his quest, in which you have to talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. Then tell him to snap out of it in the second time you speak with him. After this, he'll tell you that he wants to find the full storage. Naturally, you'll find the full storage by following this route I took. And the second you step inside the food storage, your main character will remind you that the food storage was found. If, if you go back to Henry, you have the option to tell him about what you found. He'll give you a key that opens the sewers and thus opening the way to the city. This is given to the players so they don't soft lock themselves out of the city. After leaving the mayor's house and going back to the train, at the start of the game, you will see Henry cooking. He will be a very useful cook for you and will always restore all your hunger to the max, as well as to any party member currently with you. Basically, removing their hunger from Fear and Famish. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Once this happens, there are three routes one can take in order to make Henry's movement be quite difficult to follow when it comes to guides. Let's call them side A, B and C. We shall start with side A, which is the decision of keeping Henrik in place. We will not tell him of any other place where he can move to and he'll remain at the train. Side A. This route allows you to have Henrik cooking outside your train during day one morning, day one afternoon, day two morning. He will only be cooking three times since during the night he won't be available and during day two afternoon he goes through a scripted event. Mind you, if you kill any contestant in a train while Henrik is there, he will no longer cook for you but won't do anything against you. Day two afternoon is when he'll find out where Caligula is and will be finding him in the lake area. Over here, you can choose to kill either or both. If you don't take action, then Caligura will take the finishing blow on Henrik. He won't come back to cook after this, as day 2 afternoon concludes with him being tired from the encounter. Day 3 morning onwards, he will be missing until day 3 night, where he'll become Moonscorch. Moonscorch, uh, let's go to side B before we cover Moonscorch Henrik. Side V. You may decide to send Henrik to two spots to not have him sit at the train. This prevents interactions between Henrik and Caligura though. Side B is sending Henrik to a place called Restaurant Billy Bull. Billy Bull. Restaurant Billy Bull. Restaurant the Billy Bull. I don't even know how, how to play that. The, the bull thing. How, how do you, the, the, you know, right? The, that one. Yeah, no clue. I don't know how to pronounce that. Right in the basement where you're supposed to find Levi, you will have Henry move here if you decide to tell him about the restaurant. The choice is, I found a restaurant from the city. Thought you'd be interested in it. Henrik will be there as fast as possible and will not even take him a single minute to travel all the way there. He'll be cooking for you from day one morning till day three afternoon. You heard me right. He will always be available for cooking. Not a single day will he ever be occupied. Of course, day 39 is when he's gorgeous and that means it's time for side C. Side C. This trial can also be the same as side B. How it allows the player to do something extra. You can choose to send Henrik to Renka's cafe, which is this spot. You gotta find the place and then talk to him. The option says, I found a small cafe from the city with kitchen equipment. Over here you have him close by from where he was up. He will be cooking here from day one morning until day two afternoon. Of course, day three night he'll scorch. However, if you find for he love and you've been there, you will have the choice to tell him about this spot, a decision that cannot be made inside A or B. If you tell him about it with the following dialogue, there's also this safe looking club nearby if you're interested. He will move from Renka to Berhi above. However, this move will take him from one to two days. I don't really know if it's based on time or he only moves space if it's night or afternoon. However, the only keyword I got from him when he is there is one night only, which would more than likely be about that he moves only when it's nighttime. There's something weird about this event though. 
If he moves in here in day one night and cooks for you, he won't appear during day two morning and afternoon only to then come back at day two night. But if you leave any party members here when Henrik is cooking during day two night and only during day two night, well... Yes, any party member you leave here will be killed by Henrik. Explanation on this is unknown other than he got poison or any kind of substance that allowed him to take out everybody from Renka to here. Original video footage was discovered by the channel, no commentary archive. Thank you so much for recording it. After this happens, Henrik will be gone for the whole game. This leaves us to finally being able to cover the moonscorch form of Henrik, the mayor named Gentleman. Gentleman is one of the first scores you will find in the game, depending on your choices, of course. The gentleman will force you into a chat when you meet him, in which you can choose to play a minigame while he will be asking a few questions. If you respond right, you don't get to fight him, and you get one out of the two keys that you need to get in order to open the gate in Old Town. The choices that you have to go through are just the non-offensive ones. The ones where you respect his food without mentioning anything that will bother him, pretty much behaving. And the last question I usually go with, I don't know. Since I don't read the lore, the fight against the gentleman is quite difficult during the early game. However, having one to two party members makes this fight quite easy. The knife he wields can cut an arm during each turn. The fork will hit twice, and we're more than likely one shot characters with our armor. They can be stunned and kept from doing much, but the torso has 750 HP, so going for the torso with 3 characters is usually a really good idea if you got enough damage. Better yet, if you are Karen, you can persuade him into getting a free turn. Oh I know, this fight is easy peasy once you get geared up and should not pose a threat. Henrik, as a human, has a hand that gets extra turn and if you are not able to take off his hand during turn 1, he has 300 HP, it will get extra turn and will damage you twice. Doesn't help that Henrik is the tankiest contestant ever, he has 725 HP compared to all other contestants who have less, making him a really difficult character to take out. Not impossible, just worrisome. And the fact that allies will not attack Henrik until he attacks back? Yeah. Henrik does not drop anything amazing when defeated, so taking him out will only make the game end faster. That was the second episode of where to find, how to save, and how to kill. Please make sure to like the video and share it with your friends so I can keep growing and making the next contents and guide. Also, any donation will be very appreciated. I'm hungry as fuck.